What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. In this one, I'm going to talk about my post-workout protein shake and supplement routine that I just started. My old little magic bullet blender blew up. <laughs> it's been 10 years, probably even more. So I got this new Ninja Professional 1000 Watt Blender. We're also doing a review on this today. So we'll see how all that goes. By the way, I do buy all this stuff and I do pay for it on my own. So if the manufacturers of any of these companies decide to do some sponsorships, hey, you might want to consider me for some sponsorships because I could totally use the freebies. Anyways, let's get into it. So, and I hope everybody listening to that or just saw that knows that this is the stuff that I use. I pay for it on my own because I like it and it works for me. So if it works for you, great. And if something doesn't work, oh, believe me, you'll know because <laughs> I'll do a video on it. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So protein shake. Usually I try to have it about a half an hour after I've worked out, like somewhere within that time frame, because I'm trying to get nutrients back into the muscle after pummeling them at the gym. So what's in this protein shake is one scoop of whey protein isolate. This is from Now Sports. It's unflavored because the flavored stuff is where all the bad things are. That's where you start getting into unnatural sweeteners and stuff that wreaks havoc on your pancreas. I've done that in other videos. Go back in my video history and you'll see that. But I like this one because it's unflavored. It's just pure whey protein isolate. So one scoop of that goes in, fast, more faster absorbing. So that's why I use this particular style or type or whatever. Then I've got one scoop of Nutricost casein protein. And the reason why I put one scoop of this in is because this is a more... Uh, it takes the body more energy to break this down. So I'm hoping to keep my metabolism up, right? The fat burning process going. So that's why that's in there. Slower. It's kind of like time to release protein, if that's what you want to think of it. So this one goes in quick. This one goes in more time release. So I'm optimizing the, uh, the muscle's ability to absorb protein over time. That way it gets absorbed better. I'm just optimizing the whole process. That's the whole theory here. So one scoop of this, one scoop of this. Then I've got one scoop of vital proteins, collagen peptides. What that's doing is protecting the cartilage, trying to keep it supple, trying to keep it cushy, right? Protecting the joints. So that's why I put in vital proteins, collagen peptides. I like the chocolate flavor. It's got a good flavor, got a good taste. So that's why I use that. Then I've got one scoop of tart cherry extract powder. Mostly this is for flavor. The health benefits, I need to do a whole nother video on that. But basically it's good for your blood and your heart. It's the fastest way to explain it. Okay, so then I put in a shake or two of ground cinnamon. The ground cinnamon supposedly mitigates the sugar process. So all the natural sugars that are in this stuff, the cinnamon helps to keep the insulin level down so the insulin doesn't spike like crazy. That's what the cinnamon does. Then I've got organic milk as my base. I use the whole milk. I like the fat aspect. Protein and fat, no problem. At least for me, that's what works for me. So then occasionally I'll put in coconut water for the electrolytes, right? And I'm trying to get potassium back in. I'm trying to get the magnesium back in. Whatever other electrolytes are in coconut water, sometimes I'll put that in there. So that's what goes mostly into the shake. Then I've got one scoop of BCAA powder that also goes in the shake. This is for muscle building, for recovery, you get the idea. So all that goes into the shake, I'll blend up the shake. And then what I do is I take one nitric oxide booster tablet. This is from Nutricost. What this does is basically it's like a train. It helps to shuttle the nutrients into the muscle. It dilates the blood vessels. This is partially responsible for the pump that you get when you work out citrulline malate is basically the number one but this is kind of like number two number three on the list of helping to help your muscles swell up with blood right so the blood delivers the nutrients so i take one after the workout so that all these nutri nutrients can go into the muscle quicker that's the theory anyways okay then i've got three grass-fed desiccated beef liver tablets also from NutriCost. Basically, muscle building is what they're for. A lot of the old timers, golden era, silver era, they would take tens or dozens of these because they didn't have 
good protein powder. I think Rio Blair was like the only protein powder at that time. But and I don't even think that even exists anymore. Maybe it does. I don't know. But anyways, grass-fed desiccated beef liver. If it worked for the old timers, I'm trying it, testing out some theories. We'll see what happens. Then I've got two of these gamma orizinol tablets. Same thing. Basically helps in the muscle building process. It helps to synthesize protein. You get the idea. So smoothie. Then I take these tablets with the smoothie. And as a bonus to this video, you can like the video right now. <laughs> you can subscribe wherever the subscribe button is. Make sure to check out the links down below in, this, in the description section for all of these products and a lot of other great stuff. So now what I'm going to do is this is the first time using this blender. I want to see how it blends up with the shaker. So I put everything in here. I'm just going to give it a quick shake so that the, the, the blades in there don't get stuck. But let's see what happens. So this goes on and in. And and I'm okay, so that worked actually pretty good. There was there was some dried stuff on there because when I poured the the powder in or whatever, but you get the idea. It all it, I left enough room in there to where it could blend up and mix around. And basically, the way it works is you push down. So as you push down. That's what gets the blender to go. The old style was you had to put it in and twist it. But what I was noticing was, is when you twist it, you're either loosening the cap or tightening the cap and it turned into a disaster. And that's why my old one, I think, exploded. But <laughs> anyways, it looks like it blended up pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of residual on the side right there. But for the most part, it looks like a pretty good smoothie. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and enjoy it. And anyways, here's another reminder to like the video. Check out the links below in the description if you like what you see. Also hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more of it. This is a process. I'm showing everybody what works for me. Love the comments. Keep them clean. Tell me what works for you. And also, if you have an idea for a video, put that down below in the comment section because you never know if your comment could turn into a future video. So Cooter Malloy, I'll catch you on the next exciting video and have an awesome day.